one of many labs uh, that's been uh, contracted to work on, as part of the natural resource damage assessment for the Deepwater Horizon oil spill uh, to try and um, estimate some of the damage that's been imparted to the Gulf and, and its resident species. Well, we're really in a unique position here at the University of Miami Rosensteel School because right across the street we have the University of Miami Experimental Hatchery and they're able to maintain pelagic fish species such as mahi-mahi and cobia in culture and this allows us to do these studies uh, during any life stage. And so what we do is we go over, once the fish spawn, we collect the eggs and then we bring them back over here to the lab uh, after they've been exposed to oil and then we uh, perform these swim performance experiments. Now we can expose them either as embryos and larvae over at the hatchery and then they raise them up to the juvenile stage or we can take them after they've already been raised to the juvenile stage at the hatchery uh, completely in clean water and then bring them over here to the lab and expose them here in oil and then perform our swim performance tests. So when we collect the fish at the hatchery, we bring them back over here and we put them in a miniature swim tunnel respirometer. And that's basically a treadmill for fish. And by using this uh, fish treadmill, we can determine how fast the fish can swim and also we can monitor their metabolic rate. Well, we found that when you expose them to deep water horizon crude oil, even for very brief periods of time, like on the order of, of a day or two, to relatively low concentrations, it impairs their ability to swim maximally. So they're uh, they actually fail faster than they would if they were not exposed to the oil. Out in nature, it's, it's very likely that if these fish are suffering in the same way as what we're observing in the lab, that they would be susceptible to uh, greater predation and uh, less ability to capture prey. So they would very likely suffer um, greater mortality. The advantage that we have here is that we have this unique capability of uh, raising the fish in culture and then Combining that with our expertise in toxicology and physiology, uh, we represent a, a very unique uh, situation and a capability in assessing the impacts of the spill. Uh, for a fish, swimming is everything. So if you can't swim effectively, you can't uh, catch prey or evade predation and other things that are critical for survival.